Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Bradley, back here again with another sneak review, and... Okay, I know the shoe released a while ago, and nobody ever... Probably still nobody cares about it, but... Right here, the Ronnie Fag times Puma R698 Mid Sakura. This is the best quality shoe I own. I've picked up a couple pairs of shoes since I've last seen you guys, which you'll begin reviews on soon, and... Out of all of them, this is still the best quality. You got a pigskin suede. All this red that you see here is pigskin suede. Pretty soft. Changing colors, as you can see. And the, all the... What would you call this? I think they call it like a navy, a pea coat. I don't know what that color is, but that's what they want to call it, but it's okay. This is a perforated nubuck. Saga has a video cut off, but as I was saying, you have this perforated nubuck right here. Actually, what shoe was I showing you guys? I'll show you guys this shoe. You have this perforated Nubuck right here, same thing, changes colors. And from what I know, a Nubuck is just like a really short suede. So, like, a suede is longer, Nubuck shorter, as of what I know. And I changed out the laces, just like the Brigham and the Mama did, from these flat Peacoat 3M rope laces, or not rope laces, flat laces, to these Beat and Peacoat. I think that's 3M lace, or is that just white? I think it's 3M laced rope laces with these rose gold aglets and the midsole right here you have a white from a gradient fade to a peacoat with black paint speckling normally it'd have a trinomic logo right here but they decided to leave that off I think that's a nice touch and you can see right here the normal ones the I think it goes about right there the normal low height this is the mid so they add this little thing it has a booty construction which I think is really cool because it's like this is the actual shoe and this is just like a sleeve going over it so I think that's really cool you have a 3M form stripe right here. Well, the form stripe on the other side is just regular. Um, 3M right there with the Puma logo with says Puma. And on the other one, you have what does this one say? You have Kith with a little Ronnie Fag sig. And both those on our 3M. 3M pull tab on the back, 3M pull tab on the front. And one thing that's really, I don't even know, I'm not too upset about it, but look at how off that Sakura logo is on the back. You go down right there. I'm um, right at the side. The other one's a little bit better, as you can see. Go down about right in the middle. But this one, you go down. It's about right on the side. I don't know. I'm not not too upset about that. It's fine. But because you can see, you have a beat outsole with I don't know, like a lighter red color for the little slits that you would move it. I guess with a navy trinomic or what, what, what color would they call this? Peacoat Trinomic, which the Trinomic cushioning, I thought it would be better, which I'm not complaining, it's still good the way it is, but I'm just saying I thought it would be a little bit better. These shoes are still pretty comfortable, which they're probably the fourth most comfortable shoe in my collection, which I only have like 14 pairs, so that's pretty comfortable. They suggested going a half size up, no, I mean half size down, I'm sorry. Um, I went with a 10.5 true to size, and these fit fine for me, so... If you guys try to get one of these models in the future, I would go true to size. And this is actually the first R698 mid ever made, which I think is really cool. And what else is there? Oh, they came with these flat laces, basically the same as these, but without the 3M. Both of them still with the rogues of gold aglets. And this our seat right here. With And here's the inside. They have the little... Sakura logos on the, what would you call it, on the tissue paper, I'll just say. And the box is, I really, I really like the box. You have the Sakura logo on the front. Little Puma hit right there. Then on the bottom, Puma and Rodney Feig. All in all, this is probably, this is one of my favorite shoes in my collection, if not my number one. Oh, I'm sorry, I almost forgot to show you guys one thing. If you can see this, okay, I'm going to try to get you better lighting right here. You have that. Kith logo on there, and then on the other one, Ronnie Feig. Oh, I really like this lighting right here. I should use this more often. That's cool. Okay, anyways, on the side note, but all in all, these shoes are amazing. I love them, but and I'll probably throw in a on foot section and speak to you guys after this. So the on foot section will probably be coming right here.
Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm downstairs right now because I was outside shooting the on-foot video. But, hope you guys enjoy. I have a lot more videos planned. I have, what is it, two more shoe reviews coming up. Possibly three. A couple vlogs that I'm going to drop. But, it's summer right now. I have more time to post videos. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I have a shirt right here from my shoe drive that I ran. I might have a vlog about that soon. But, I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you like to see this channel. And take care, guys. Peace.